body baby oh ah his body baby oh yeah yeah it's up hey everyone welcome back to my channel i'm having to record on my phone right now because all three of my batteries to my camera are dead right now but basically what i wanted to do is vlog myself um on this weight loss journey because i wasn't quarantined and i basically was sitting around for two weeks and i gained i would say over this whole time i gained about 20 pounds not specifically just in quarantine but since covid started all the way in march i basically gained about 20 pounds so what I want to do is get all that weight back off of me, um, tone myself back up. I'm a little bit on the not so toned side that I'm normally used to. After this past quarantine that I was in for two weeks, I pretty much lost my abs. Like if you look at my stomach right now, you can't even um, see my abs. So this is so abnormal to me and I just can't do it anymore. So, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put myself on a diet. Um, Morning will be um, oatmeal, afternoon will be a soup, um, the night will be a good hearty meal. I'm probably going to do fish. I'm going to be doing uh, salmon and tilapia for um, dinner so I can get in a good amount of protein but also, um, you know, make sure I'm getting in, you know, a good healthy meal make sure i have a good amount of vegetables on my plate as well because that's something i don't do a good job at um making sure i'm taking my protein i'm also going to take creatine during this journey as well so this is going to be interesting i'm going to try basically my goal is going to be to hit 2,000 calories um every single day i will have a recovery day that day will be a little bit less calories i'm thinking about a thousand calories that day uh, maybe even 500 more of a stretching um do a light run um light weights basically kind of recovery day and just making sure i'm getting in um you know some recovery so my muscles can recover i not used to being in the state and i want to get back to where i was so doing this challenge and i'm gonna be kind of in and out recording myself some days um i might forget but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i weigh right now and um we'll see what i weigh in the next so today is sunday november the 29th and we'll see what i am the following sunday um and also the following sunday after that but this is really going to be a one week uh challenge for me i'm going to do it for two weeks but I, my main goal is to get to where i want to be within the next week um i know that's a really short short amount of time but i definitely want to shred this weight pretty quick so hopefully this diet and this regimen of um, the 2,000 plus calories a day will get me to where I need to be in the amount of time that I need to um, do it in. So let's go to the scale and see how much I weigh. So I'm 177, which is way over what I normally am. I'm normally in the range of between 150 and 160 so i'm well outside that range of what i'm supposed to be but what i normally am it does have a lot to do with me being done with track um so that i'm not now that i'm not in a sport anymore i definitely have to work a lot harder on my own to maintain the body that i had so basically i do plan on joining crossfit but i'm gonna do that once i move and i haven't moved yet so um right now i'm on my own and want to make sure that i'm prepared to start crossfit because i know crossfit is not a joke so basically sorry y'all i keep looking in the mirror behind me if i'm not looking at y'all so enough talking tonight right now i'm already at 472 calories which is not a lot um but i'm about to do a bunch of circuits um I'm gonna start off with my step workout. Um, if you've watched it on my channel, I'll definitely make sure I put thumbnails, or not thumbnails, I'll definitely make sure I link that in the video, my workouts that I do. Um, and if I don't have the workout posted already, I'll record it and post it on my channel so you guys can go check it out and do it whenever, you know, if you decide to do this challenge. So, with all that being said, I'm about to go work out. My quality may change in and out of the video because right now I'm on my phone but 
I'll be switching between my phone and my camera. I'm going to have to use my camera because my arm, my arm is hurting. <laughs> but basically, let me get everything going. Let me get set up so I can get my workout in that I need. Let's go. I'm tired and I shouldn't be this tired after that. So, oh my eyeballs. Oh. I gotta take these lashes off, they're about to fall off. So, basically, after that, my oh, my arm's shaking. I can't even get to stay still. I lost, I mean, I burned about 200 and I don't know if y'all can see. I'm too tired to move my arm still. But I burned about 236 calories in those 20 minutes. So basically, I'm gonna do it again. Um, so I can burn about 500 doing cardio, um, like a cardio exercise circuit routine basically. So what I, I was thinking about while I was working out, I can do 500 calories for just running, 500 um, calories running. Um, so basically, I'll probably do, oh gosh, my sweat's getting my eye. So on average, a mile burns about 100 calories. So I'll have to do five, five miles to reach that goal of 500 of running, 500 calories running. Then I'll do, um, 500 in a specific area, so either burn 500 in legs, or abs, or glutes, or cardio exercising. Um, so basically tonight, I think I'm gonna do, I'm already done running, and I'm, I'm now I'm doing cardio exercising. So I'm gonna do 500 abs, and then 500 um, of basically a general strength circuit that I have on my um, Instagram mind you all of these exercises that I'm doing or workouts are going to be on my channel so if you want to do them you can just uh, click the link that I have attached to it so uh, yeah anyways earlier I don't know why I show my weight because I'm not really concerned about the weight that I'm losing it's more about the tone um, getting back toned how I was before so I'm not too concerned about how much I weigh, but mainly about getting tone in this, this week span. So let me show you guys what, before I forget, I know I'm not done working out, but I'm doing my recovery right now. But before I forget, I want to turn and show you guys like kind of how I look. So how I'm like, why is my sh comforter falling off my bed? Anyways, so. Right now, I'm not like toned at all. Let me pull my pants down so you guys can see. I'm not toned or anything. Everything's just kind of there, loose. I mean, my legs don't count because my legs are kind of always toned. But as far as like my stomach, um, basically everything on me is just kind of not toned at all. So this band, I'm breathing hard because I can't breathe. Basically, this band is going to be for getting everything toned back to where I want it to be. So now I'm gonna hit this circuit again and then next I'm gonna do abs. All right, let's come back in with you guys when I'm done. Yo, that was, I'm tired. So basically, I'm still short 100 calories. Um, that workout got me to 150. So 
<sighs> I can't go no more. So <laughs> basically I'm gonna be short uh, 100, so I guess I have to make up for 600 tomorrow. First tip would be not to start this at night. Um, I just came up with this tonight, so that's why I started it tonight, but um, I would say not to start it at night. Make sure you get, start getting a jab at it early in the morning. If you work, try to do half of it before you go to work and the other half after you get off. Um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't suggest to do this at night, but basically I've burned a thousand and my battery died. But basically what I was saying was, uh, I'm gonna be short 600 calories. So I basically burned 1,400 tonight. Um, I would say, like I mentioned before, just make sure you start this before eight o'clock at night because when I started. <laughs> so um, I actually went to go run about 8.30. And then an hour later, or like 30 minutes later, I decided that this is the challenge I wanted to do. So I didn't get started to this until like about nine o'clock. So it's 11.20. So basically what I'm gonna do now is let's head to the kitchen. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna take. So I didn't get a chance to go to the store to get all the food that I wanted, but basically, um, I'm gonna have to go to Cane's because it's the only thing open, but I'm not gonna get any fries or bread or anything. I'm just gonna get the chicken fingers, um, eat that. Uh, but let's get into the supplements that I'll be taking. And I'm gonna take these throughout the whole thing. So I'm just gonna show you down, break it down today. And the next day, few days, it's just gonna be kind of like, in fast pace so I don't want this to be like an hour long video but basically I'm gonna be taking whey isolate clear whey isolate right now um, this is in the flavor peach mango and it has 20 grams of protein in it but basically this is from my protein I love it they have the best flavors that you can hello they have the best flavors that you can ever find so Definitely this. I'm gonna have this and I'm also gonna have my BCAAs. And this is in the flavor um, peach lemonade. So I mix these two together because this is peach mango and this is peach lemonade. So peach and peach together. Um, I'm kind of talking on the lower side because I think my roommate might be asleep. Yo, my eyelash. Anyway, so I'm excited to be taking this next one because I've had this in my house for a while, but basically just never build up the confidence to take it because if you take this, you do need to get in the proper intake of water or you can mess yourself up. So I will be taking this creatine and this basically helps you get lean um, and that's the sum of what it does. Uh, so I will be taking this. Um, starting tonight, so I have to get my gallon in and whatnot. Um, so these are the three um, supplements that I'm going to be taking right now. Um, but let me get my other supplements that I'm taking. Give me a second. Okay, this is another staple for me. Um, these are the Golly Gummy Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. And y'all, this is basically for your gut health and it um, you take two in the morning, two for lunch, and two for dinner, and it basically flushes you out, makes sure you're not holding any, you know, um, horrible things in your body, basically. Um, and it also helps with you having, like, um, like, without, like, what? <laughs> it basically helps you not be bloated as bloated because, yo, like, look, like, the bloatness is real. So... Let me go ahead and take two of these right now. Actually, I forgot to take two earlier, but I did take three. I basically just took three because I took three earlier because I forgot to take two for breakfast. So I split up into three and three. 
Okay, and so now um, I'm also gonna take the Omega 3 um, vitamins. These are vitamins, it's not a supplement, which I don't have to include this in this video because it has nothing to do with weight loss, but it comes to heart vitamins. <laughs> um, this has a essential fatty acids and it helps support a healthy heart. So these are also for my protein. Basically, a lot of supplements that I have are for my protein because they're just amazing. So I'm also gonna take those. And the directions say to take It says to take one soft gel three times daily, so seeing that I just picked that up, I'm just gonna take those tomorrow. But let me go ahead and get my supplements mixed up or not. So guess where my bottle's from? <laughs> uh my protein and i just noticed i had on this my protein bra but if you haven't put two or two together i am a my protein ambassador so i'll also leave my link in the description box below so you guys can get a discount because the discounts are fire period i use my own discount basically but and it has like a nice little um filter in there so like if you when you mix your protein in there if it gets clumpy it'll stop the clumpiness from coming through so I'm gonna put about halfway um, for my supplements. Let me zoom out some, I don't know why. Oh, maybe I'm just close. So I'm gonna put one scoop, cause this calls for one scoop to 10 to 12 ounces. And that's what I have in my bottle, so I'm Putting one scoop of that. So I put one scoop in here. And then for the BCAAs, I also, you're supposed to put two scoops of BCAAs. So I put two scoops of this. All right. And Once you're done, I just put the little lid on for the filter. Close, close the top. And then shake, 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 Something like weird about my protein's um, protein is that it kind of foams up a little bit. So I guess because it's whey, um, that's why. So I'm gonna, after done shaking that up, it kind of looks like foamy like this. So I like to let it sit for a little bit and then the foam basically goes down and you can drink it just fine. Okay, so this is my first time taking this creatine. Oh, my nail. <laughs> this creatine is unflavored, so basically you mix one teaspoon with six to eight fluid ounces of water, fruit juice, or preferred beverages. So actually, I'm gonna throw it into the meats. I'm gonna throw it into the mix because it is unflavored. I don't know why I didn't just get flavored, but basically I feel like it's gonna be nasty if I just throw it in some water. So one scoop. Alright y'all. Alright. Which means I'm gonna have to let it sit again, but that's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go hop in the shower and then we're gonna go get something to eat, y'all. Mm. 
So guys, I just finished taking a shower and now it's time to drink, drink. So good. Do you gotta try this? It's peach mango um, protein and peach er, peach lemonade BCAs. Um, and then I got my creatine in. So y'all, I'm pulling up to Kate's. Hopefully they're still open. <sighs> Let's see. I'm just gonna get the three finger combo. Thank you for such amazing chicken wings. What can I get for you tonight? Hello. Can I just get three chicken fingers with cane sauce? Three fingers with cane sauce. Anything else for you tonight? Can I also get a large water? Can a large cup of water. Yeah. That'll be all. Hmm. I'll be having to check my food over here because they be messing up my water. One time I came to Cane's, short story time. Once I came, I came to Cane's, I just realized I turned that light off and y'all need to see me. I came over here and they forgot to put, they left the whole chicken finger out. And I also normally get uh, an extra toast. They left the toast out. So I came back to get it. They still left the toast out, right? That was one experience. Then another experience I had, I'm talking about hair all in my food. And I was just like, so shocked that like I went back in to tell them there was hair in my food. And he was like, well, what do you want me to do? Get the hair out of the food and give me some more. And also tell your employees to put some hair nets on. Like what? What you mean what I want you to do? What should you do? How you a manager asking me what I want you to do? Like, how crazy is that? I don't know. But basically, Canes is right by my house, and they basically open till 2 a.m., which is actually an issue because it's so easy for me to just go to Canes whenever I'm hungry and I haven't cooked. So I end up getting, like, a, a, the combo with, um, like, basically four chicken fingers, fries, two uh biscuits i mean two um breads well i can't think of the name of that because it's not called a bread i mean it is bread but that's not what it's called and i can't think uh garlic bread there we go two garlic bread uh so on so on so basically say i'd say it's not the healthiest choice to have right next to your house and to close at 2 a.m. because when you're hungry, that's where you're gonna go. But basically, I'm about to get out and eat this for tonight. And then I'm gonna edit some videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop um, shooting tonight. But basically, I'm gonna show you guys what I have. The three finger combo. Yes, unfortunately, it is fried. Um. Why they gave me these baby chicken fingers? If I'm getting only chicken fingers, why are you not pulling out the biggest ones you have? Anyways, it's whatever. This is gonna be my dinner tonight and then tomorrow in the morning when I wake up, I'm gonna tell you guys in the morning because I'm still talking. So, Diamond, tell them goodnight. Here you Give me kiss. Ooh. Give me kiss. Good girl. Give me kiss. Give me kiss. Give me another kiss. Diamond, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Diamond, give me a kiss. She's staring at my food. Diamond, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Diamond, give me a kiss. She being stubborn because she know I'm not going to give her no food. But Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning. And got kind of walk through my, I'll walk through my meals tomorrow. And then the rest of the days will just kind of be sped through. 
so this video isn't forever long but um basically yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm finally eating for the first time today and i have my protein shake and this is um just milk and this impact whey protein from my protein i love this vanilla the vanilla flavor so that was that one's pretty good so this is what my breakfast looks like um just oatmeal banana and then I got my protein so yeah so this is gonna be what i'm eating basically every day the food's gonna be the same so i'm not gonna keep showing you guys i'm just gonna show you guys today and then um why well, this won't stay up straight oh i'm basically just gonna show you guys today and then run through the rest of the day it's just kind of like what i'm doing with my workouts i'm not going to show every day because it's going to be a lot but i'll try to put what workouts that i've done like i'll try to make a video for the workouts that i do and then just post those and just link like the different workouts that i did do um but i'm not going to record everything because it's going to be too much but basically this is what i'm eating and then i'm about to go to the gym and then i'll be back home and eat lunch when I get back from the gym and then basically make dinner uh, which is my fish and whatnot and I'll show you guys um, you know the finished product of my dinner all right I'll tune back and wait you guys when I get to the gym hey everybody I am back home from the gym face here So basically, wait, this is too bright. Hold on, let me turn it down. So, I reached about, I would say 1,500 calories at the gym, and I'm gonna finish the rest later tonight after I eat. But right now, I'm way behind schedule, and I still haven't eaten lunch. So basically, what I'm about to go do is, <laughs> I'm about to go get lunch and mainly because I started my day so late. So I'm eating lunch at what time is it? Seven o'clock. But <laughs> I'm trying to see which one I want to try first. I kind of want to try the roasted red um, pepper and smoke guada bisque. This one first because it has the least amount of calories and it might not be too long before I eat dinner. So this one has 320 calories in it. So you basically just pop it in the microwave. So with this lunch, I'm not going to um, drink the whey protein because that is for recovery and I want to do that the last part of my day. But I do need to take my gummies. My gummies. This is gonna be my routine every day this week. So I'm gonna come eat my lunch, which is gonna be my soup. And then right now I'm about to throw all of my food into the my fish into the oven and then make my corn and my broccoli. And I'm gonna insert a picture of what that looked like when I'm done. And I'm not gonna to continue to update you guys every day because it's basically gonna be the same routine, just different workouts. And I'll, like I mentioned before, I'll just link the workouts below so you guys know. And I'll also try to leave like tags in the video so you guys know what workouts I did so you can do them yourself. But basically, this is gonna be my routine for the next week. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. Hey y'all, I'm back and it has officially been one week Today is Sunday and it has been seven days that I have been dieting and doing my routine. So, good news. Um, I have lost eight pounds and in the seven days that I've been doing this diet. So, um, I believe I was what? One, what was I? 178? I can't remember and I don't feel like what makes this video. I was 178 and the last time I was on a scale, I weighed at 170. So that is a great accomplishment and I can definitely vouch for this diet that it has been working 100%, 100%. Now to speak about this routine, um, I would say that the food was great. I had no issue with being hungry. 
I had no issue with feeling like I didn't have enough energy. Um, the food was great. I definitely recommend doing, um, you know, dieting on that. Like that way I wasn't really eating any bread. Um, well, I wasn't eating any bread. Uh, so I didn't feel bloated ever. Um, I felt very light. I didn't feel like I was heavy. I loved oatmeal. I love oatmeal. Um, wait, what? <laughs> I love oatmeal, I love oatmeal, I love oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> I love oatmeal and I chose to eat the apple and cinnamon flavor oatmeal, but you can really eat any flavor you like. I can't really think of a substitute if you don't like oatmeal. What do you think would be a substitute if people don't like oatmeal to eat for breakfast? Cereal maybe? Cereal or grits. Yeah, so maybe cereal or grits if you don't like oatmeal. Um, oatmeal is a very great uh, breakfast seed. It's very, it's nice and healthy, um, and it gets a lot of nutrients in your body. Um, for lunch, the soup was amazing. I love it. The different soups that I had tried, all of them were great. My favorite, my personal favorite, was the um, the broccoli, potato broccoli, and I think that was chicken flavor that I had used or that I had bought at the store. I would say that was probably my favorite one uh, because of the chicken bits, or I think it was chicken, I'm not sure. But that one I really enjoyed. Um, as I mentioned before, the gumbo one is really good too. Uh, the chicken and sausage gumbo. So that's great. If you don't like soup, what you think that she? I can't really think of a replacement for soup. <laughs> the only reason why I chose to do soup is because soup is very light um, and it doesn't tend to uh, have a lot of calories so as, as we looked at earlier the calorie counts in the soups are very low so but they also fill you up so that's why I recommend soup but I feel like if you don't like soup maybe try to eat something that's less than 450 calories for lunch um, and that could be a substitute um, just make sure you know it's something that can fill you up because soup definitely can fill you up with not having a lot of calories so that would be my suggestion uh for dinner like i mentioned before you can really pick any type of fish that you want i personally did catfish and salmon but you could basically pick any catfish i mean sorry any fish that you want <laughs> You can basically pick any fish that you want and uh, you'll be fine. Also, um, the two sides of vegetables, you can pick those out, whatever you want as well too. So, as far as the way that I feel and the way that my body type. Substitute can be chili or like a shrimp dish. So my boyfriend over here doing research. So he said that if you don't like soup, you can eat chili or a shrimp dish. What's a shrimp dish? Like uh, a serving of shrimp with any vegetable you want. Oh, a serving of shrimp with any vegetable, he says. <laughs> so, uh, you heard it from the man. Um, you can eat either chili or a shrimp dish for lunch as a substitute of soup. And then um, dinner, fish, um, and your vegetables. So as far as how I feel, I feel really great. Uh, I feel healthy. I feel like I have a lot of energy. I basically have been going all day, every day, and hadn't felt drained or like I didn't have any energy. So that's we're good on that. Um, as far as like my body being more toned, I definitely see a difference. Like I feel like my legs, my glutes are starting to become more um, toned. My abs definitely see a difference. Let me show you guys what I'm looking like right now. So this is what I'm looking like now. Um, I've definitely toned up a lot in the ab area. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but also my quads and my legs um, tend to seem to be a lot more toned than it was before. So. I definitely can say I can see the difference. I don't know if you guys can, but I can see the difference. Now, it's not a drastic difference because obviously it's only been seven days, but it's a difference um, from what 
from where I was seven days ago. So I definitely recommend this diet. Um, if you guys have any questions, definitely uh, comment below. Let me know. Um, I definitely will link all of the workouts that I have done for this um, challenge down below. Um, I have recorded some of those. Uh, some of those I'll try to get out as soon as possible. But um, I, I will definitely put in the description box what type of workout it was. So, like, I'll type it out for you guys so that you know. But um, if you have any questions, let me know in, in the comments below. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And definitely let me know if you guys try it and if you see results. Um, but thank you guys for tuning into my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.